Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a video on the iPhone 6s Plus versus the iPhone 7 Plus. And I'm just going to talk a bit about the differences I've noticed from going from the 6s Plus to the 7 Plus. So first off the bat is the design. So they look pretty similar in form factor. However, on the back, um, the antenna line on the 6s Plus has been removed and also there is now a dual lens and if you can see there is a quadruple flash instead of just a dual turn and on the front the earpiece has been elongated on the 7 um, so there's room for the speaker there so there's dual speakers on the 7 also on the bottom you can notice that there is no longer a 3.5mm headphone jack so that's been removed but apart from that they basically look the same, so that's the first thing, the design. Another thing different between the 6S Plus and the 7 Plus is the home button. Now, they look very similar, but the 6S Plus has a physical button, you can hear. And this one is a haptic feedback button, so it doesn't physically press. Um, so it doesn't go down at all. It vibrates to make you feel like you're pressing a button. Another big difference between the two is the iPhone 7 is now 25% brighter and has a wider colour gamut. So I don't know if you can tell, but the colours pop a bit more. So the greens will be greener, the blues will be bluer, the reds will be deeper, and it overall looks nicer. I'm not saying it's a massive difference, and you can't really tell that much, but the 7 screen is um, brighter and more colourful. Another difference is the cameras have been upgraded in the 7 as compared to the 6S. They're both a 12 megapixel sensor, however, the dual camera on the 7 allows for a better zoom in with better lighting and situation. So as you can see, I took this on my 6S Plus and this was on the 7. And you can zoom in so far that you can see the top of the bus from the previous picture, which was up here. You can see that bit. This is times 10 zoom, so that's a new feature of the 7. And also every year they do like to increase the specs, so there is now 3 gigs of RAM in this one and 2 in the 6S Plus, so it does make things slightly faster. You can't really notice a massive difference, but if I open the same app here, if I just open Facebook at the same time, ah, exactly the same. That was a fail. Everyday tasks, you're not going to realise a difference in speed. It's probably going to be exactly the same. Um, but, yeah, the 7 Plus did open that slightly faster. Um, another change is the front-facing camera. So it's gone from a 5 megapixel camera on the 6S Plus to a 7 megapixel front-facing camera on the new 7 Plus. So. Pretty sure it's going to look very similar, but there we go. Now, some might think the 6S Plus has an advantage over the 7 Plus because of the 3.5mm headphone jack it does have, unlike the 7 Plus. So, if you want to use your regular earphones, you've got to have one of these that comes in the box and you can just plug it in and use that. Another difference is, of course, the iPhone 7 is water and dust resistant and the 6S is not. Another difference is the 7 and 7 Plus both have dual speakers now, so one on the bottom and one coming out of this earpiece up here. So it's a lot louder, twice as loud, so we'll test that now with the 6S. Now with the 7 Plus. I love the way you tie me 
I hope the sound difference did come through on the camera, but perhaps it didn't. That's it for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this was just my opinions on the things that I've changed and the, thi and the things that I've noticed. So uh, make sure you like this video if you liked it and stay subscribed and thank you for watching.